Welcome back to another RMS support tutorial. Today we will discuss how to export contract files from an archive contract. Contracts may be archived to preserve information to reference at a later time. Archive contract information might be useful for those who need to recover certain files for legality purposes. Archiving a contract will remove it from the contract list, disabling access, and will store it based on the current state it was archived in. In order to access the archive contracts modules, users must have at least partial district admin privileges with the rights to archive contracts to complete this process. For this demonstration, I've already logged in and opened the district from the map. From here, navigate to the district office, then click archive contracts. From this menu, you will notice the contracts that have been archived, archived by, contract reference, contract description, contract number, delivery order number, office ID, contract completed, archive reduction, and whether or not a contract has been unarchived or not. Note that if the contract was archived in RMS 2.38, it will not show up in this list. In order to restore contracts that were archived in RMS 2.38, you will need to contact your RMS support for assistance. For this demonstration, we will click the unarchive filter to show the list of ends, which represents that these contracts have not been unarchived and are still considered archived. You are able to select and export multiple contract files from different contracts either archived or not. To do this, select the contracts you want, then click export contract files. This will now prompt you to save the desired contract files in a certain location on your computer. For this demonstration, I have created a folder that I would like to have these contract files placed in. Once selected, press OK. RMS will now begin exporting the archived contract files. If there are no files in the contract files of this contract, nothing will be downloaded to the computer. In most cases, after the export has been completed, a new file explorer will open, displaying the contract reference number that I have selected. You can verify this to double check the correct output. From the file explorer, you can open the folder and it will display all of the files listed within this contract. The types of files in these exported folders will depend on how the contract is set up and the state the contract was in prior to archiving. RMS takes the steps to secure PII by removing access to PII from the contractor after it is sent to PCF. In summary, we covered the importance of retrieving contract files from archive contracts as well as how to export contract files from archive contracts. We hope you found this video informative and thank you for watching.